Hello, this is Y'all Weasel. News just in. The, uh, the international board to determine the greatest video game ever made has, uh, just finished their conference, and this is it! Uh, Titanic 1912. B best video game ever made. I think I'm walking the wrong direction, because I already talked to you. So, uh, here we are. I'm- I'm bringing you the single highest quality best video game that has ever been produced by human hands. It was touch and go there a bit in the, uh, in the final voting, but, uh, overall, I think we can all agree that, uh, the best man won, and, uh, we're- we're all pretty glad that, uh, that the best video game ever made has been correctly recognized as such. I heard that you opened the third class door. I hope you could help us as well. Eh. <laughs> More about whether I can be bothered to help you, really. It's crazy! Why do they drive at full speed? I- I- they're- they're not. We're stopped, we're sinking. Okay, bye. <laughs> We had a good conversation. <clears throat> Tell me something new. You look familiar. Okay, I already talked to you. <laughs> um, I get easily lost. Oh, I went full circle, that's all. I went full circle. It's fine! I just wanted to make sure I actually found everything. No, I... Mm, so how do we move on? <laughs> Not there! Was there an actual, like, path? <laughs> can we, can we move on? Is this where I came from? Oh god, I hate this! I hate the fact that I can't tell if I'm going forwards or backwards. Now, am I going forwards or backwards? So far, difficult to tell. <laughs> Say something new. Establish that you're a different person. Only women and children could go on a lifeboat. What do we use to calculate it? Well, to calculate whether you're a child, your age is sort of the, the critical thing. Uh, just take your age and determine if it's of a child's age. What is that effect on your head supposed to be? Because it... it's not that. Whatever it is you're going for... No. The Titanic's maiden voyage will be the headline! I feel like the sinking is probably gonna be the headline, but yeah, basically. All closed doors. One open door. What- what is that around your face? Did you just eat a blueberry pie by just burying your- burying your head into a blueberry pie? I don't have any loved ones. I am not afraid of death. Thanks. That was a fun conversation. So glad I talked to you. Bye. Really adding a lot to this video game. Really making a deep plot to talk about. Hey there, mermaid. What's up? The waiter asked me to put on a life jacket, etc. A life jacket will do you a lot of good when you're locked in a sealed compartment. That'll- that'll help a lot. It'll make you, uh, float at the top of the sealed compartment while you drown. Hi! The lifeboat is not enough and many people will be drowned! Yeah, that- that is absolutely true. You haven't told me anything, because I already knew that. Hey, it's another M Captain Egghead. This luxury steamboat is unparalleled. The only way it could be better is as if it wasn't a steamboat. I mean, I so I, I realize you're still sort of lounging in luxury, but uh, we're we're all dying here. The ship is the ship is sinking. The ship is sinking. Goodbye. <laughs> It's an- uh, what? It's an unenterable saloon-style door? I wasn't expecting that. Hello. Ah, I- I'm- uh, 
Mm, I, so I, I don't, I don't want to say that I, I hate talking to these people and doing this translation because that is the whole point. But like, maybe there's just no redeeming factor about this game at all. Do it well, man. Look at your 14. 90% certain that that is not a correct translation. <laughs> Google, you have failed me. Oh god. Sideways egg head at the top is really freaking me out. Stop walking at me! Oh, they're all nightmares. They're all... Can we just not? Can we just not talk to these ones? Okay, maybe... Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll talk to these ones. Please be sure to save my daughter, mister! You look like you're about ten. I must go to the United States with my father! Yep, that's, uh, not gonna happen, Bye. One of you might make it. The other one, not so much! Oh, wow, there's, like, too many paths here. <laughs> Okay, here's where the stairs are. They're at the top left. Bizarrely, I don't want to miss any of the fascinating conversation. So we haven't gone up here. Okay, this seems important because it's happening automatically. Going out here is not where you come. Yeah, that seems almost like a sentence. Just let me take the crystal stone for the women and children in the whole cabin. Give the crystal stone! I won't be fooled. I want to get it first. I assume, like, get off first. Get off the ship or something. Then I am welcome. Welcome to die! <laughs> oh, I love all of the human enemies so much. He's... he is the definition of swole. <laughs> oh, it's incredible. You're... you're my favorite, guy. You're my favorite. He's just... He, he's just like a big bag of potatoes with a shirt on. <laughs> Take that! Take that! And he's just carrying a baguette and his left hand is shriveled. He has, you know, that disease where your left hand shrivels to nothing. <laughs> Anti-left handism. Oh, well, there he goes. Bye! <laughs> You won. Crystal Stone, you take it away. Jack gets Crystal Stone. Oh, it didn't teleport me. <sighs> Here's the question. Is this whole Crystal Stone thing a side quest? Is this whole Crystal Stone thing a side quest? Or do I actually need to go back with the Crystal Stone? I think I do need to go back with the Crystal Stone. <sighs> In fast motion. I just remembered that I've still never checked what the Diamond Ring does. It must be this plus 99 attack thing. Not that I need that since I have infinity attack. I believe that it is this door, because it's one of the few where there's two next to each other. Hi, Mr. Wizard! I- I have a crystal for you for some unknowable reason? I would like us all to just take a moment to consider the fact that this is a game about the Titanic in which we just handed a crystal to a wizard. Can we all just sit for a moment, and then appreciate 
the fact that we're playing a Titanic game in which we just gave a crystal to a wizard. This is the thing that just happened in this video game. Haha! <laughs> -ha, I finally got it! Is the wizard evil? I hope you can get, help us get out of here. I'm just gonna ignore that uh, evil laugh you just did. That's probably fine. This, I still have something to do first. It's not that easy to go, but luckily the wizard has magic laxative powers. Oh my god. So he is evil. I was right. And also he's a witch. Get a crystal for a wizard. It turns out the wizard is evil. So attack the wizard. So why did we get the crystal? And there was that splitting path there. I'll bet we could have just gone the other way. Like this is a side quest to kill a wizard in Titanic for no reason. We're actually on a pointless side quest to kill a wizard in a video game that is about Titanic. I, you know, I was... I was thinking this was a, a pretty terrible bootleg video game, but now that we've killed a wizard on the Titanic, I think it might be the best game I've ever played. Okay, I help you, warrior! Is he just gonna give me some stupid item? The old wizard swears at the crystal stone. F you, crystal stone! <laughs> the old wizard sang a spell against the crystal stone, whatever that means, and the crystal stone became a- immediately turned into a crystal key. Can we use that to open the second class? Hatch? Jack gets the crystal key. Oh, it even sent us up here automatically! Jack opened the hatch. So, here's my major- okay, this is also covered in blood. Here's my major sort of concern with this. There was a second path we could have gone on, but luckily I chose the correct path, I guess. And, after getting that, there was a further- like, I could have gone further in to the path I had gone on when I got the crystal stone. So... There was a whole lot more to second class that I didn't ever see, which I can only assume was unimportant and just padding out the game. I can finally leave this boat. Where did Ruth go after changing your name to Rose? Ooh, do we get to play as Ruth? I mean, Rose. <laughs> what do you want to do? Who is she speaking to? There's no person in front of her. Is she speaking to the player? Is she offering me options? Oh boy, criminals! Mr. Carl Lou, we take you to his room. Why are there- why is there like a mafia on the Titanic and why are they worried about kidnapping people when the ship is going down? And why is whatever this is in quotes? <laughs> oh no! Help! This is like the first scene in porn. That's why it's a sarcastic cry for help. Boy, that's- I've just invented in my mind like the worst porn plot ever. It's- <laughs> we're on the Titanic, it's going down. <laughs> I'm ashamed of myself. <laughs> Going down with the Titanic. <laughs> I am not good. I just saw your wife being taken away by two gangsters. Well, it's not my wife, but whatever. Where is it that this happened? At the gate of the ballroom. A, do ballrooms have gates? B, does anybody remember that part of Titanic where, like, the Mafia is on the Titanic kidnapping people for no obvious reason? I don't, uh, I don't seem to recall that part of the movie, but maybe it was there. <laughs> you are going to save her! <laughs> Thanks for the command. Thank you for notifying me, I will go. 
Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm just curious what this message is. Uh, you probably should uh, save your girlfriend and not just leave. I can't leave Ruth and run away. I mean, you can. <laughs> Nothing is stopping you. Uh, we've already found stairs, but I can't enter them from this direction. Great. What fascinating things do you have to say, first class person? The, uh, the second and third class, uh, accommodations may not have quite so nice of, uh, dining stuff, but they do have a lot more beds, so that's an improvement. <laughs> it is a pity that such a good ship is going to sink. You realize you're going to be dead, right? Like, there's other things to be worried about right now. Okay, bye. And also, there's monsters everywhere, that's- that's- Why did the music change? Why do you have your own music for this room? Why do you have your own music for this room? I don't- What?! <laughs> okay... The sea is cold, and more wears a little clothes. Well, I mean, at least you got happy music in here for absolutely no reason. So, we're looking for the ballroom, which probably means we're looking for another hallway! It's depressing to play a video game where you know in the end your character dies. Wow, you've got like a double room going on here, huh? Look at that! Look at that! Look at all this space you've got! You must be rich even by first class standards. Where is the lifeboat? I'm going to board the boat with my child. I mean, certainly keep looking around your own cabin. You'll probably find it there. You're standing uncomfortably close to me right now. I really, uh, I, I need more space than this. Next time, and <laughs> thanks for watching. If you liked the video, do leave a like below. Cheers from Yaweasel.